set to go and towing the slab here Jack Flaherty Chris what should we keep an eye on here with him well he's allowing just over one base runner per inning which is really good especially for a starter because these hitters get to see you two three maybe even four times in a start so just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff is we'll see if it's that way in this one bounce to the left side on to first one up one down now a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Rays and probably their most productive player so far this year Brandon Lau this guy had an on base percentage of over 400 last month that's just telling you he's taking his walks he's getting his knocks he's finding some holes everything just going really well for him right now but don't overlook the fact that that happens because he's having consistently good at bats Kiermaier calls it in and there's two away not fooled at all right there he was clearly all over it but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone you're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes Christopher Morrell next to hit for the Rays swing it a foul straight back two out spaces empty And it's a three up three down inning we head to the bottom of the first no score after a half inning back here in L.A. and today's starting pitcher Ryan Pepio Chris it's a little more common these days but still he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today. But when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you needed a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. Here's Mookie now. Right that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. One down, base is empty. And oh, that's, that's outside. The count now two and two. The punch out there. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be Ready. feeling pretty good out there on the mound. Ready. Because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Scoreless after one. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Second inning set to go. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Junior Caminero. Next offering in there for a strike. One and a count, one two and two. Three. And down on strikes he goes. One out in the second. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. The one two gets under and pops it up makes the grab and there's two gone that is it. the third baseman number seven Jose down the third baseman Jose Caballero 
It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. The 2-2. Two -two. And Three misses balls. inside. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Good plate ball, appearance ball. there. Able to take the walk. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that yeah, dugout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's still in a good spot. Feet. He's just got to refocus okay. and deal with the bottom of this order. Two outs, runner at first. Outside, and now it's Jose ball. Siri. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here at the top of the second. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Move over to first, trying to keep it close. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Three, Off the mark there. Counts full, three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. And down on strikes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And we're back. Bottom of the second. Here come the Dodgers. No score. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter. Teoscar Hernandez. And a foul ball. Out towards right center field. Lau makes the catch, and there's one gone. Well, that's a tough play for the infielder, ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call yeah, yeah, me yeah. off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. And now it's Gavin Lux. And a pitch. Hey. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first that five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. The batter now will be Will Smith. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. And Two another ball. Two strike. Kicks and fires. Three. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Dodgers down in order. We move to the third with no score. Dodger Stadium out of the third inning now up for Tampa Bay Johnny DeLuca there's a swing and a miss I think he was sitting off speed there just misses with that one really good take especially with two strikes the line of the pitch is absolutely belted Hernandez going back and it hits the base of the wall not stopping he's going for three the relay throw in there safely everything came together for him anytime you smoke a ball off the wall you kind of think about what it could have been but obviously you have to be happy with that result what a scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game
And now the catcher for the Rays. And a pitch. Runner at third here. Nobody out. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Kiermaier moving under it. Drops into the glove. Runner takes from third. The throw is offline and he's in to score. On the board first, it's one zip. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. You got the job done. Yandy Diaz now. And the righty deals. And now the count. One and two after One the ball. swing and the miss. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Two outs, base is empty. Lau at the plate. The next offering misses. Two and one. Now fly ball to right center. Sizes this one up. Makes the grab and that's the inning. One run on one base hit, no errors, and no one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Rays one and the Dodgers nothing. As we go to the last of the third and at the plate for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. Muncy. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. That gets down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That again. Not short and enough. here comes Tommy Edmond. Edmund. The pitch. And a count one and two. Oh. And there's a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Next offering is outside. On this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, dude. Nobody out. Runner at first. And ball four to a board. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. First and second, no outs. Here's Kiermaier down. And fouled off. The one two. Just yeah, off the out. outside edge. Waiting for a turn at the plate. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The kick, the 3 2. High fly ball, right field. Sizing this one up. Brings it in. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. Now got the designated hitter, Miguel Rojas. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Miguel Rojas at the plate. How many times have we seen an early at bat change the course of a game? It happens every night in baseball, and maybe it happens again here. 
Two on, one out. Back to the mound. It hit him. And they get the out after the ricochet. But one run is in to score. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Here's Mookie now. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Turns and fires the bats. Oof! That one went straight back and got our ump right in the mask. Let's hope he's okay. And the pitch. Two oh, balls, two down. strikes to count with two outs. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Battling here as he fouls it away. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are now this ball is down and could score a run. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2-1. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. I could watch base hits like that all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Runner at first with two away. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Two outs. High fly ball out to left field. Low has it sized up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Three innings complete. It's the Dodgers two, the Rays one. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Christopher Morell. pitch and that's in the dirt two balls and a strike well these rays doing a great job boog of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way and i'm seeing very patient at bats out of them he's only given up one run but the starters pitch count is starting to get up there and that might be the best news yet for this offense and another ball you know sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage and that might be the case today and a swing and a miss. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Junior Caminero, the next to hit. The Dodgers up by a run. Top half of inning number four. In the air, out towards right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Josh Lowe getting ready to hit. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Ray's held in check here. They're down to one. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Just off the outside edge. And it's two and one. You know, these Dodgers showing great discipline at the plate. And patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this oh, one. Great. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count. And they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple 
the fact that that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. Siri in position. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. The batter, number nine. Second baseman. And stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. That one at 95 missed up top. Now two and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one missing low. And there's ball four. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home now of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. And here it comes. Throw! Save! Siggy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. And okay. another ball. And that's ball four. four. Take your base. So first and second with one man gone. Max Muncy at the dish. Lux, the lead runner out at second. Smith at first, one gone. And a swing and a miss there. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Kevin Kelly warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Cunell, the hard throwing right hander, up as well. Two on, one out. Fights it off, you'll see another. Garrett Richards, a guy who was originally a first round pick of the Angels out of the University of Oklahoma. Next pitch is downstairs. <laughs> no, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Runners at first and second with one goal. Swings and misses. Now two away. Tommy Edmond at the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. On the ground is short. They get the force. Third out. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Dodgers two, the Rays one. We go to the top of the fifth and stepping in for the Rays, Jose Caballero. Jose Caballero. The 1 1. Basketball for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base okay. pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Next nope, offering is downstairs. Oh. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. He's going to step out of the box, fake ball, do something to break it up. And that one is lifted in the air. Snags it for the second out. 
So up next, Johnny DeLuca. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Yeah, Worked himself into a good yeah, count. There's yeah, nothing like cheap that. about the way he got yeah, that yeah. one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next to hit, number 28. Two outs, and that's Ooh, outside. That's out. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. And the right-hander deals. On the ground to third, Muncie. Zips it across. That ends the frame. One hit, one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Dodgers two, the Rays one. Back now, now to start the bottom the of the fifth and taking over Number on the mound, on. Kevin Kelly. Kevin. Well, they didn't get much Kelly. length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Here for the Dodgers, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. Here's a 1 1. Ah. And that's outside. Just okay. missing there, and it's three and two. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. So the batting order turns over. Next is the designated hitter, Miguel Rojas. One out, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. On the ground, ball, right foul. side, and it goes just foul. And now well, two and two. Well, two. And he deals. Up the middle. And that one handled. Slings to first. All man for the fifth inning. Moving along. Two quick outs. Now bad. Right fielder. Right Mookie. Mookie. Two outs. Yeah. Base is empty. And now it's Mookie Betts. Singing. He's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. Yeah. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become ah. elite. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Dodgers go down quietly, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got pitched to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to.
And now it's Brandon Lau. Banks and misses. It's a strikeout. Pass with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. And here is Christopher Morell. And a base hit right there. And that extends the inning. Well, a swing no, like no, that no. can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So a man aboard, Junior Caminero, next to hit for the Rays. The 1-1. On the inside corner for a strike. Right with the tie run running first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. This one high in the air to left center. Sizes this one up. He's got it. And that is out number three. So one hit is all they get. Part of the order, three, four, five coming up. It's the Dodgers two, the Rays one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Tyler Alexander. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Number 14. Tyler Alexander. Freddie Freeman Freddy up to the dish. The, the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Tampa Bay's two bullpen strikes. with some action. Colin Poche getting loose out there. Bradley getting loose as well. And now the lefty just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch. Right on the of the plate, and I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Not to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Chop to third. Caballero slings it across. Two up, two down. Now that second base is Gavin. Two outs, base is empty. Gavin Lux now at the plate. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. The pitch. And it's filled up. Will Smith up next. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. And he walked him. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised now at his way at the plate. Yeah. But as a hitter, he'll yeah. take that all day. So two down, and up to the plate is Will Smith. High in the air, out to right. DeLuca sizing this one up. Squeezes it. That is the inning. So the Dodgers leave one. They lead it 2 1. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Shohei Otani. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Looking to get the tying run on base. Lifted in the air, right center field. Kiermaier gets there. He's under it. 
He's got it. And there's a one away. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Caballero. At the belt and fires. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Holding on to a one run lead here at the top half of inning number seven. Struck him out looking. Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. Jose Siri. Right hander kicks deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two outs. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball two. Squeaks through that one. It's a strikeout. Rays go in order. One, two, three. And they trail it here. Two to one. of the seventh go, and at the plate for the Dodgers Max Muncy Max Muncy gets him to chase after that one one ball two straight swing and a miss struck him out and one away in the bottom of the seventh now here is Tommy Edmond Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. Hey. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Out to center. Siri in position. And makes the grab. And there's two down. Now by center fielder, Kevin, Kevin Kiermaier will hit next. Next pitch is outside. Whoa. Wouldn't chase that time. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Helpful. In the air, center field. Siri in position. Pulls it in to end the inning. Alex Vesia gets the call from the pen. Well, he's got electric stuff coming out of the pen. His strikeout rate, though, is through the roof Number so far this season. Well, one run game. Now it's the right fielder, Johnny DeLuca. And a pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Pitch. Down the line. Betts is on the move. Can't get there. This one lands foul. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down the line. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. And now the catcher for the Rays kicks and fires. That to right. And that's a fair ball. 
always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. So the Rays batting order turns over. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Here comes a pitch. That's a ball. We got two balls, one strike. Fouled off. He was late. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Brandon Lau next to hit for the Rays. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Left-hand batter waits. Bolton. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. With the tying run on at first, and we're at the top of the eighth. In the air out to center. Sizes this one up. And that's the third out. The Rays strand just the one, and our score remains 2-1. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Taj Bradley. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And now here's the Lead Dodgers off. designated Rojas. hitter, Miguel Rojas. The designated hitter, Miguel Rojas. That one finds the zone, and it's one and two. And another ball. Outside, and it's a full count. And a pitch. Three. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Late cutting action to get the swing and miss right there. I mean, that's just really hard to account for as a hitter when you're seeing the fastball all the way, and then just at the last moment, it darts away from you, and you can't reach it. Next offering is in for a strike. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Colin Poche warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Base is empty one away here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Lined in the left center. Base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice line drive to the pole the side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. Ready. That's the key. You still have to Three extend man. through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now a chance for Freddie Freeman. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Pickoff move to first, and Betts dives back. Betts, the runner at first with two gone.
Wouldn't Helpful. chase that time. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. So now two on and two outs. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts no a runner in the scoring oh. position, and a chance for this good, offense man. to add yeah, on to their yeah. lead. First and second, two down. And next for LA, Gavin Lux. And nope. another ball. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. That's in there. And the count is two and two. Righty delivers. And he chases that one. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Dodgers two, the Rays one. the closer Ryan Number Brazier a chance at his first save of the year well one run game now up for Tampa Bay Christopher Morrell just missed right handed reliever fought off foul the pitch good job to fight that one off righty to the plate and now the count filled up three and two that's a really good take junior Caminero to bat next Boils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And the right hander deals. Bows it back with two strikes. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Fly ball down the line. Betts running hard to get it. Won't get to this one. It drops foul. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. When you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. No outs. Runner at first. Junior Caminero next to hit for the Rays. Popped up. Makes the grab. He's two outs away. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. A one run lead here at the top of the ninth. Rudder takes off. There's a ball. The throw. And he's out. Well, the throw bounced in there perfectly. Really nice job on the back. Pick it, apply that tag, hold it on him. Just didn't get a good jump over there at first base. That's half the battle of stealing bases. Maybe even more. The pitch. And the slider just misses. Big pitch coming right here. The last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove on either. That's a base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, 
That's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a poor stroke. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Brazier keeping an eye on him. You know, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off. It's over. And now, let's say Caballero. One ball, two strikes. If you were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. This could end it. Ground ball right side. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And your final score here today, 2-1. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.